I'm Stephen Marinelli. I'm the food service director for the district. We're at the Milton Elementary Middle School. They had a very dismal program, and I call it freezer to oven, and their participation rate was very low, their test scores were low, and there was just no interest in child nutrition. And so I brought a totally different look and made myself available to students, teachers, faculty, really stepped on that pedestal to make change and, and stayed very vocal in a positive way. We brought in fruit and vegetable bars and during this time there was the whole change in uh, the child nutrition regulations. There was an average of two faculty members that ate lunch a day and we now serve well over 120 faculty a day. So when you get them on board and you're saying that you want to go into their classrooms and provide farm to school education, their behavior issues are changing. They're getting better academic work out of their students. Their students that are engaging in other areas really engage in farm to school activities because it's very hands-on and it just allows everyone to participate. And I think teachers recognize that and, and they use that as a tool in their classrooms to make their classwork even better. And I ended up writing a blog for USDA about how successful our fresh fruit veggie stations were. The blog was actually picked up by the White House and Michelle Obama in our List Move campaign. We just happened to get a phone call and were invited to plant the garden and that really catapulted the whole program here at Milton on a state and national level. That gave us a lot of credibility, a lot of visibility, and it, it brought more people to the table. Focused awareness that we were really doing a, a job of change here. So we, we put together a community dinner, and the first one we ever did, I think we had approximately maybe 80 people come and participate in the dinner. You know, we thought it was very successful, and so we decided to do a series. And it's free of charge to all community members. And at this point, we serve over four to 600 people per community dinner. We have a big one coming up for Thanksgiving. It's our big one that we invite seniors. We give them a personal phone call, every senior in the community. So we'll probably reach eight, 900 people for our, our harvest community dinner in November. Look at what we've done. It works, but you have to be committed and you have to be willing to be accessible. The rest of it's not that hard. It really isn't. Um, time consuming, yes, at times, but to reach out to a farmer, to do a little extra work, to find local food, to, to serve, to do a taste test, it's, it's not that hard. But you have to be consistent and, and just be willing to do the work. And the rewards are well worth the effort. Farm to School can work. The changes in the nutritional guidelines can work and that you just have to be open, you have to be available, and you have to allow students to just take things in incremental change. You can't just, you know, just open a curtain and just say, this is how it's going to be. It takes time and it just takes a lot of work and you have to build that relationship and trust. <laughs>